Yeah, I'm so excited. How many weeks left until January 1st, 2024? It's 15 weeks until then. I made a promise that I'm not gonna feel bad at the end of the year because I didn't hit the goals I had set for myself. I am going to be pushing these next 16 weeks to glow up. Welcome to the Look Good, Feel Good Era Diaries. Good morning. It is Monday. It's another week. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. You know what? I actually really enjoy filming this. Like, I actually really enjoy filming this. I hope you guys are also enjoying watching this. It is currently 6.44 a.m. and I'm about to make my way to the gym for a glutes workout. Today is glutes and hammies. And so we're gonna be hip thrusting. It's gonna be a good day um i only take i only take i only have like an energy drink on the days where i on my leg days or like on my full body day um but even this like i do not drink the entire container like this will last me the entire week just watch just watch this one drink is gonna last me the whole week and so it's not you know anything too crazy but let's get our little butts to the gym i hope you guys have been enjoying this series i hope you guys have been enjoying these vlogs i know they're a lot longer than usual but i feel like i don't know i just really want to document this journey it's a way that i can hold myself accountable and i really i don't know i really hope you guys are loving it i really hope you guys it's inspiring you guys and it's motivating you guys because that is what i do that is what i do that is my whole purpose here on social media is to do that so i'm done chitter chatting you guys there was this huge moth in my room today i literally could not go in there like you guys didn't see me making my bed because i didn't make my bed anyway let's crack this bad boy oh this is one of the best alani new flavors it is the witch witch's brew so good I'm crying. I spent all day editing this video and we still have four hours of footage. But I am dead inside, so we're gonna pause. Um, right now, I am putting together outfits. So we have our fall lineup. It's so much more than this, but this is what I wanna start with for now. And so. This is how I'm gonna be spending the rest of my night. I will see you guys later. I'm not wearing a hijab, so. It's currently, as you can see, 7.06 p.m. And I wanna be in bed by 10, so. Let's spend one hour doing this and then I'm going to, I'm literally gonna get ready for my bed.
Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. I am so happy to be alive this morning. I don't know. I'm just feeling really grateful. I'm just feeling really grateful to have another shot at life today. It's going to be a really good day. It's going to be an amazing day. It's going to go better than I ever could have imagined. There's going to be so many blessings within today. It's going to be beautiful and I'm really excited genuinely. Um, I I'm all dressed for the gym as you guys can see I'm gonna make myself a something to eat because I'd be hungry like I'm telling you that I've been waking up hungry lately um, the only day I didn't wake up hungry the only the only day the only day I didn't wake up hungry was yesterday which is interesting which makes sense because I did go out to eat and something about like restaurant food will have you so full Anyway, it's currently 7.08 um, and I woke up at 5, which is so interesting that it's already 7. It took me about a, okay, well, I woke up at like 5.40, 5.50 um, and then I prayed and I've just been getting ready since. I did my hair, which kind of took some time, um, which I don't do every single day. It's just my hair absorbed my hair absorbs moisture so fast, so it gets dry very fast. Um, and so I have to reapply product. But yeah, I'm gonna go make myself something to eat and then we're gonna go hit the gym. Today is a push day, so we're gonna do triceps. Cause I was gonna do back and bias, but like my back feels really sore from the last full body day. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna flip them and do um, a push day today and then a pull day on Thursday. Or Wednesday yeah no Thursday Thursday yeah I'm so excited there's so many opportunities so many blessings just in my life right now and I'm so grateful and I think when you set the intention to have a good day when you set the intention to have more opportunities when you set the intention things just start to shift I know that for a fact like there's it's it's no other way intention is everything whatever vision you hold for yourself whatever you hold in your heart is how you're going to experience life is the the door that will open up for you is the path that will open up for you so if genuinely and truly in your heart you feel you set the intention of having good having well-being having opportunities having your vision in your heart and in your intentions every single day will help literally i promise you a whole new door and a whole new path will open now i'm not saying that that path is going to be perfect and it's going to have everything aligned for you the way that you want you're still going to experience things the way that god wants you to experience them the way that god has created that path for you so there's going to be ups and downs there's going to be you know not so great experiences there's going to be learning lessons there's going to be all of that but it's it's meant for you to grow and continue moving in a good direction and so set the intention and you'll start to see the way that things unfold you will start to notice things if you're observant enough you'll start to see all the blessings and all the good and the more you're grateful for that the more you experience it and when it comes to your goals and it comes to your vision you don't want to wait until you get to that goal and that vision to feel good about yourself to feel grateful to feel peace the the only way that you will actually experience the journey the way that it's meant to be experienced and get to where you actually want to get is by finding that peace and that gratitude that you think you would find once you receive that thing once you hit that goal once you your your outer world matches that vision that you hold for, for yourself once you feel that gratitude now and you feel that peace now and you feel that comfort now and you feel that love now that is how you're going to continue on this journey and continue to experience good and to continue to experience blessings and it makes sense because if i were right now working towards my vision but while i'm working towards my vision i'm so like i'm like when is it gonna come how is it gonna come what am i supposed to do i am not even gonna be in alignment with that vision because i'm constantly focused on my outer reality and like just like how i'm gonna get to things and then once i continue to fail because like i said like that path is open up to you however there's going to be failures there's going to be you know bad days there's going to be things that don't go your way if i say oh look at that well things aren't going my way meaning 
I'm not gonna get that vision. I'm not gonna. It does. It doesn't exist. It's all bullshit. It's da, da, da. Like if I were to say that, I would turn right back around and go back to who I was and do the things that I used to do that kept me stuck. And I would become ungrateful and I would become bitter and I would become angry and I will experience more of that in my life. And so it's just so important to stay positive and every day wake up with that intention and remind yourself of your vision and where you want to go and be grateful to God for even giving you that vision and giving you a direction to go in and allowing you to wake up and yeah I'm just I'm just feeling good today that's that's the vibe we're on so I'm gonna go make myself some tea you now there's like bad ingredients in this because the way that i love this yogurt i use the app bobby approved oh time limit because it's not eight o'clock yet and all you do is you scan it you guys they need to sponsor me asap and this is not bobby approved because it contains cane sugar and corn it should be organic or non-gmo process and refined sugar oh this has refined sugar in it not good how much of it though? Oof. I couldn't go to Whole Foods, so this is the only one that I found at Target that was like semi-clean. Um, I really like it though, it's delicious, but it has refined sugars, so not really a part of my goals. Hi guys, I just left the gym. I did a chest, triceps, and um, a chest, triceps, and shoulder workout. I hate upper body day. I don't enjoy it. It was a good workout regardless. I walked for 40 minutes and 40 minutes only because I'm so hungry right now. The plan for today is I'm gonna edit the video that's supposed to go up today um, that took me all day yesterday <laughs> that's just kind of like my main priority I gotta like respond to emails figure out all the campaigns that i'm doing um it's so interesting like i've i've always turned down like those opportunities only because i don't know how to explain it but anytime i got an opportunity to work with a brand i would turn it down only because i felt like that's not exactly what i wanted to do and i really wanted to push out content that was meaningful and not just like be like oh hey guys like i love this product or i'm trying out this product but if it is something that i love and something that i'm interested in then i'm like okay well why not it's another source of income as well so i'm like you know what why not and so that's kind of what i'm working on but vlogging on its own is a process as well like it takes effort and it takes energy and so like making sure that i'm vlogging my day especially as a hijabi guys like it's crazy because i'm not always in my hijab i'm not always i don't always feel comfortable being at home and being in my hijab but like if i'm vlogging every single day for the next 17 weeks which is the commitment that i made to myself then i have to figure out a way to vlog and um it takes a little bit of extra effort so that's kind of just been my whole life right recently is taking care of my other work and then also building my personal brand here on social media and i feel like it's the direction that i need to take for myself and so personal branding building this brand on social media while taking care of my other brand and all of my other things that I have going on is a lot and it's a, it's a handful and I feel like my days is just like me sitting at my computer or me doing that and it's like sometimes I get really overwhelmed and frustrated um, with trying to vlog and give you guys something to see and something to watch while also getting my work done and like getting the video up and you know doing all of that and so it definitely takes up a good portion of my time but I still am committed to living a good life where I take care of my health and I take care of myself and even last night I just sat down I didn't even like update you guys or anything or really talk to you guys much because it was just a long day that was really tiring and 
I just didn't want to talk and so I just filmed myself and I literally sat on my couch for the rest of the night I read my book that's kind of just like how I spent my night and I wanted to share that with you guys without me having to really you know talk and stuff Is this car coming this way no it's not okay um anyway yeah so it's it's interesting like I feel like now that I'm vlogging every single day you guys kind of get to see like the behind the scenes of what that's like and if I'm being honest I'm extremely extremely grateful and I know how blessed I am to be able to work on my own time to be able to work in my own home and do what it is that I have to do and I have you know these set schedules and all of that to help me incorporate my health and my well-being and my self-care while also maintaining my work and it's definitely something that took me a really long time to kind of find that balance i would say it's not really necessarily balance i feel like one day you put more effort into work than i do self-care and all that but i just still try to incorporate everything in at once and so yeah it's i'm so grateful to be where i'm at and i'm definitely blessed in my own way but it's a lot it's a lot and it's a lot of work and it's a lot of effort and so you guys will kind of see more of that please be like patient with me I'm, tr I'm really trying i'm trying yeah i will see you guys when i get home and i'm making breakfast progress disappears when you hide it in your head this really comes in clutch <laughs> i was like okay you grab my stuff i don't know where to put my phone I just stuck it on there also dan co is playing right now He's one of my favorite YouTubers at the moment. go it's currently 1 10 p.m good morning i haven't seen you guys since yesterday if you guys keep up with like the youtube community or my instagram story you already know what i'm gonna say but it's currently wednesday um all day yesterday and i swear when i say this all day yesterday when i sat down at my computer is the last time you guys saw me i did not get up till nine o'clock p.m other than when I got up for lunch, which I had some steak tacos. I feel like I'm always eating tacos, but it really is my favorite meal. I had some steak tacos, which was really good. And I prayed. That's it. That's all. And then I got up to pee. I promise I sat on that seat for hours on end. I started with my work and then I started editing the video that was supposed to go up yesterday at 6 o'clock p.m. It is currently the next day. I really tried. I was like, you know what? I gave them a whole new schedule, posting schedule. I'm not gonna break that promise. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna do it. And I ended up staying up until like 9, 15. And if you guys work on a computer or any of that, you know how like exhausting it is to stare at a computer for that long. I felt so brain dead. I felt stupid. I felt so tired and so I made a post and I was really embarrassed to make that post, I can't lie. But like I said yesterday, it really is a lot to balance. Um, only thing is, I ended up with six hours of footage last week from last week. So I'm going to make sure this week I don't do that to myself. Um, if I do end up with, because it's an hour long video, an hour and 12 minutes to be exact. I'm just finishing up the touches right now. Yeah, so it's a lot and it is definitely something new to me and I'm still learning. But I'm dedicated to it and, you know, I just... It is what it is, you know. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm going to let it go. It definitely is a learning experience because now I know not to do six. To have six hours of footage or to break it down into two days of editing 
um i definitely have to figure out my editing schedule especially now that the podcast is going to be coming out as well which is going to be like probably two hours of footage two hours of footage is like a good four hours of editing or more and so yeah i'm just going to finish up these last bits of editing and then we're gonna go to the gym i need to get myself a new sd card because the reason why i didn't film yesterday is because my sd card is full um right now i'm just using an old sd card that is probably almost full as well and so i'm gonna stop by target to pick that up i have to go to the bank to deposit some checks um and then I think I'm just going to get my car washed today and I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble to work on my courses to really just increase my knowledge in all the areas that I want to increase my knowledge in. Um, and today I'm going to do a Quran study session and so that's kind of my plan for the day. Very easy day after yesterday. Inshallah, all will be well. I feel good today. I'm a little tired. I slept until 7 today because I was really tired i woke up for fidget and then i went back to sleep and slept until seven even my mom was like why are you still sleeping like that's so not you but like yesterday actually took me out like i was so exhausted at the end of the day but alhamdulillah i'm extremely grateful for everything that i'm able to do and to even have that ability to um do that and so i'm just drinking my water i'm gonna go upstairs make myself something to eat as i finish this because even last night i didn't have dinner i didn't have dinner which is not good oh today i want to when i go to the gym i want to weigh myself um they have this scale that tells you how much like body fat percentage you have and it shows you all of your progress that you've made and so the first time i did it was literally the beginning of my look good feel good era right before i started it and my goal is to go down in body fat percentage as much as i can um and i i can definitely see a lot of change in my body right now and i'm so happy about that and i'm you know grateful also um when it comes to like weight loss I feel like now I'm not really on like heavy weight loss journey like I know what that's like to constantly count your calories and all of that I feel like right now I'm very much in a place where I I don't count my calories at all I kind of just eat really clean eat really healthy um I cut out majority of processed foods like ultra processed foods bad ingredients all of that and so that definitely has made such a huge impact on my body my bloating my entire overall well-being my mental health everything and so i definitely do make sure i don't overeat i feel like i don't do that regardless like i eat my meals i eat until i'm full i only eat when i'm hungry um and yeah it's been good it's been nice and so i'm not on this like extreme weight loss journey i definitely do want to lose some body fat and gain muscle and all that but i think i have enough experience in those areas to kind of know what to do when i'm overeating like all of that you know um and so yeah you guys really do see what i eat every single day and i hope it inspires you guys i'm excited to go to the gym today it is a leg day which i love a good leg day i need some new workout clothes <laughs> For real, I need some new workout clothes. I don't really know what to wear majority of the time. I think I'm gonna, you guys know Lena. I think her last name is Deeb. Deeb? I don't know. I like that she wears like her long sleeve turtleneck underneath a like t-shirt. And I really might start doing that only because I'm kind of over the whole hoodie thing. I feel kind of uncomfortable if I have my arms out. Um, sheesh i'm gonna go make myself something to eat and some matcha i this morning i was doing a little bit of planning some strategy planning and all of that you guys know what's so weird like i forget that like i'm i'm in marketing and sales like that's basically what i do and it's kind of funny because that's what i went to school for and even though i don't have like a corporate job i'm really doing all of that <laughs> I really am doing all of that. It's kind of funny. Um, anyway, I love this vlog that I made. Week 2 vlog. I love it. I didn't like it at first when I was editing it. I was like, ugh, I feel like there's just like too many parts where I have it. 
I don't know, but I kind of like it now. I'm like rewatching it. I love how I'm so comfortable on YouTube that <laughs> I wake up and I literally have like crust right here, like drool crust, and I'm on camera. Yeah. So I'm just now looking at your comments to the post that I made and I'm gonna said when you said you would vlog you meant vlog uh, a girl of her words No, but seriously, I would watch all six hours <laughs> That's funny. It's okay. You got patient girls. I love y'all <laughs> It just made me happy. It just, it just made me feel a lot better. Okay, let me show you guys my breakfast this morning a little bit funny quite the appetite there was leftovers from yesterday and so don't judge me okay this is girl dinner i have two pieces of ezekiel toast and then i have some beans and corn it's not beans it's lentils i have lentils and corn and then i have some steak life is never easy when you need it to be that's how i feel right now but i'm gonna eat we're gonna edit and I'm gonna see you guys a little bit later today. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> I was not... <laughs> Sorry, I was not expecting that because I was gonna say this is my um, sales associate at Nordstrom. Shout out Nick and Nordy's. He just reached out to ask for the email for triple points and I asked for him to ship. He said, of course, should we add a Dior bag to the mix? I said, <laughs> You got anything I like? And he said, <laughs> how'd you find my pool pick, man? Hi guys, so little update. It is currently 11.27 a.m. And if you guys can see, I just wanna show you guys kind of what this process looks like. Um, the video is downloading to my computer and I have the, I have this ready. This is the thumbnail, of course. And then here is my YouTube description, which even doing this like takes quite some time, um, but it'll be easier for you guys to watch a long video if we have it um, split into these sections. And so I just updated the description of what this week's vlog is about and then did this and now this is uploading I'm going to I'm going to get ready for the gym and while I'm doing that this should finish downloading to my computer and then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and the moment that it uploads today I'm gonna put it live so that you guys can see it as early as possible I get like anxiety when salad is coming around and I want to like go somewhere or do something because like the last thing I want is for my Salah to be compromised, you know what I mean? But I feel good now. I fully digested my breakfast that I had So I definitely do feel like I can work out today I want to also weigh myself at the gym So I'll give you guys an update on that because I just want to be as transparent as possible I really don't care like I love where I'm at. I love where my body's at. I don't get triggered by the scale or weight at all So that's a blessing. Um and yeah, I really wanted to see my best friend Aaliyah before she left on her trip, but she leaves tomorrow, which is crazy because it came so fast. Um, and I don't think I will be able to see her tonight. So I'll see her when she gets back. Imagine you saw me working out next to you like this. I would run. <laughs> this is still uploading as you guys can see. It might just take a few more minutes, honestly. So my plan for today, okay, so I'm gonna do some mobility stretches and then I'm gonna do a little bit of foam rolling because I feel a little bit sore. And then once I do that, we're gonna do 10 minutes of the Stairmaster to kind of warm up. And then we're gonna do leg extensions, lunges, leg press, goblet squats, Bulgarian split squats, and that is all. Um, I'm not prepared for that. We're gonna absolutely devour this workout. I'm in the back room right now to stretch, and then once I do that, we're gonna hop on the Stairmaster. We're gonna kill it. We're gonna kill it. 
All the stretch feels so good. It kind of hurts though. I'm actually vibrating. I'm actually dead inside. Whew. You guys, this workout is killing me. It is. <sighs> See, the problem is I want it to give fall so badly but it's 90 degrees out. This jacket's really light and I'm wearing a short sleeve under, so it shouldn't be too bad. These are like the most comfortable shoes ever and they're super cute. And so I'm wearing these. Also, okay, I have my Louis tote. This is actually my mom's, um, but I snagged it for today and I've just been obsessed with it lately. My iPad just turned back on, it was dead, but I'm gonna pop this in my bag. This is the best you're ever gonna see me looking. It is currently, I think, nine. I just prayed in a show. It's, oh, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to knock out. So I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll talk then. Happy Thursday. I can't believe it's already Thursday. I told you guys, we're gonna blink. It's gonna be Thursday. We're gonna be saying tomorrow's Friday. Anyway, I didn't really get a chance to talk to you guys yesterday. I really wanted to right after the gym, but I was in such a hurry that I was like, okay, I'm gonna give them an update later. And then I didn't. Yesterday's workout was killer. I literally still cannot go up and down the stairs. Also, do you guys like, do you guys like my little shirt and like oversized t-shirt combo? I, this is a Lululemon top and it's a little bulky compared to like if I were to get a um, Gymshark top. Mock neck. You guys know the, yeah, the Gymshark mock neck tops. I think that would be a lot better wearing it like under a shirt because it's like a full zip up. Um, whereas that one is just like a top i look kind of crazy right now i don't know i just I kinda like my i kind of like myself in a turtleneck a little mock neck moment i don't know you guys should i try a hijab too like i love this somali girl that's um modeling for gymshark oh this is kind of i love that she's wearing her dahab so pretty okay allah mubarak um i like this like i don't know i don't think i'll ever get into the hijab maybe i should maybe i should try it out um i wanted to show you guys she's wearing her 
the hub in this period queen um but i was gonna show you guys these like mock necks you guys see how it's like it's like a lot tight a lot tighter and stuff um i could do like a black okay cute i love this i love how they're all somali girls i don't know if it's the same girl she's not, i don't think it looks like her. yeah it's not the same girl i don't think but I think that would be great. Y'all know how Lena wears her gym outfits? Mm, that's the vibe we want to get on. Okay. I was going to say, yesterday's workout was so good. I almost gave up, you guys. And that is when, like, Bestie, Bestie Behja, right? Bestie Behja wanted to say, oh, but I'm tired. Like, you did it anyway. Like, you did well. Like, at least you came to the gym. And then Coach Behja, oh, this is on sale right now. Coach Bajo popped up and she said, absolutely not. We're going to finish this workout. We're going to kill this workout. Point blank. Period. And I did. And it was so worth it. I feel, I felt so amazing afterwards. Oh, it was killer though. I can't lie. But a little, I'll give you guys my weight loss update later. I feel so ridiculous in this. I can't lie. I feel stupid but right now i'm doing a little bit of writing um because i had loads of idea for my podcast and i think this might be like the second episode that you guys see because it's that good hi guys i fully understand how ridiculous i look like i look and feel so ridiculous right now you guys are so stupid. Let me run you guys through exactly what I'm doing. So I'm starting with bent over rows. That's what this is. And then I'm going to go over to the lap pull machine and do the scrolls looking at me. Um, lap pull with wide grip and then narrow grip and then seated rows and then bicep curls. I'm not enjoying this at all. Also, I do look and feel ridiculous in this outfit. I don't enjoy this. I don't like upper body days. Mm -mm. Anytime I eat, I really just have to floss and do mouthwash because I just, no. Literally for the second time, not even the second time, this is probably the third time I had a reaction to something in my makeup. My skin has been reacting so poorly to something that's in my makeup routine. And the only new things in my makeup routine are the Patrick Ta blushes, which honestly would make sense because this is where the breakout keeps happening. Either like here or here, or it could be Makeup by Mario Foundation because those are the only new things in my makeup routine. Unless someone changed the formula, which I don't know about that, but my skin is reacting really poorly to something in my makeup routine because it only happens anytime I do my makeup. Like, it'll go away, but then it'll come back again when I do my makeup. Like, literally, it comes back while my makeup is on. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of concealer and a little bit of blush. However, I'm going to use my Rare Beauty blush because that's what I was using before I discovered the Patrick Ta, which could be one of the things that is making me break out. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why I just did all that. I'm going to this coffee shop in North Loop, Minneapolis. You guys, North Loop is my absolute favorite i love it i love it so much it's called fragment coffee i really like the vibes parking is easy when i go down there so i don't really have a problem with that i just hope it's not too busy which i wouldn't be surprised if it is because people are back to school and all of that so hopefully it's nothing crazy skin reacts today then it's my concealer pray to god that it is not my concealer it's just 
just like hash day. Yeah, I'm just excited to get out of the house, get some work done. guys so i didn't even update you guys earlier i know i think the last thing i told you guys was i was gonna go to barnes and noble but i did end up coming out to north loop um to come to fragment cafe i don't know i just really like the vibes there was this really nice girl like oh my god she was so sweet ah, she was sitting next to me and i came in and i <laughs> looked down at where you put plug in the the chargers and she already had hers plugged in and so i just kind of looked at her and i was like oh it's like so far down like that's a lot of work and she literally was like i will do it for you don't even worry about it and i was like no you don't have to like really and she's like yeah i will do it for you and i'm like you're so nice and she literally plugged my charger in for me and oh, she was just so nice she looked like a really nice person um but yeah i just got some work done i'm starting to get hungry and tired and so i'm gonna go home and cook some dinner lay out on the couch tomorrow is gonna be an early morning tomorrow we're gonna be doing loads of shopping with my mom you guys know i'm redoing my bedroom and so i'm gonna get some comforters my mom wanted some bathroom stuff and it's just gonna be a girl's day which i am quite literally excited about oh i forgot i wanted to go to the car wash today i literally completely forgot about that embarrassing but I'm gonna quickly head to, where am I gonna go to? I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm gonna go to Target to get myself an SD card. You guys would be proud of me. I went into Target. I got exactly what I needed and I walked right back out. I didn't get anything other than what I needed, but I wanna try. Me saying that and then going, I wanna try. Okay, but I needed a protein shake. I found this brand called Rebel and it is Bobby approved. There's not a lot of protein shakes that are, clean ingredients and if you guys don't know what bobby approved means you guys are gonna want to know because i'm gonna say that like a million times throughout this series basically it's an app called bobby approved and it tells you if it has clean ingredients it'll tell you it has clean ingredients like it's bobby approved and if it has bad ingredients within like processed foods like this because sometimes you don't understand the ingredients if it's not bobby approved then it has bad ingredients and then it highlights those ingredients for you so that you know when to watch out for them you can look into it more to see if it like the type of effect it has on your body so these are bobby approved um i got two because if the vanilla one was nasty i don't think you could go wrong with chocolate like that in a protein shake so i'm gonna start with this one it's 16 grams of protein which i could use shake a lot like more than you think bismillah okay not bad yeah not bad it's actually quite nice so i was thinking about i'll try this one too i was thinking about what i would wear to the gym and i remembered that this morning when i walked in tyler who's like the front desk guy goes i dig the style i like the style like, stop playing with me stop playing with me you guys i look so ridiculous today but you know what honestly i don't care also another thing is i prayed in public by myself like i don't mind praying in public but like it's like really awkward and weird when you're by yourself but when i was inside the cafe i told the girl the really nice girl sitting next to me i was like i'm gonna go pray over there can you just watch my stuff for a second she was like yeah i stood up the cat like literally it's like kind of the front of the cafe not in the front but like the back of the cafe and it was like kind of empty so i took two chairs put them right in front of each other and i prayed and I was very proud of myself. Like, I didn't feel weird at all. Like, I snatched out my abaya, put it on, and I prayed. I love that for me. I'm, I'm, I actually do love that for me. Um, but, yeah, he's like, I dig the style. <laughs> and I'm like, it's okay, stop the cap. But now I'm like, okay. Oh, this isn't that bad. Usually they really mess up. I actually like this one better than the chocolate. 
it has like a tea aftertaste like I can taste like there's something in here it tastes better than any plant based protein that I've ever had in my life but now that I'm like dedicated to actually um, figuring out modest gym wear we're gonna make this happen okay and I'm so proud of myself and I'm so happy like Honestly, I know it's not that deep, but it's that deep. You guys, look at me. I'm really making progress. I filmed in the gym. I prayed in public by myself. I constantly film in public by myself, which used to weird me out a lot. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm finally, like, making a commitment to wearing modest clothing even if I look ridiculous to the gym and so wow look at feel good era is doing me right alhamdulillah like that's amazing I can't lie I'm so happy and my weight loss journey let's talk about it I'm in this target parking lot it's about to be maghrib time so I gotta go home but I went to the gym yesterday and I went onto the scale and I'll put it on the screen but as you guys can see my starting weight I wish I weighed myself in the beginning of my look good feel good era, but I didn't, which boo. Um, but you can see in June, June 4th, which is the first time I weighed myself, I was 156.5. And then in August, so last month, literally like almost a month ago, I was 152 and now I'm 149. However, I don't really care about the actual weight. Like that doesn't phase me at all because I know that at 150 my body can look really really good because I've been there before with muscle and all of that and the thing that I'm really focused on right now is body fat percentage and mind you like this entire time I really wasn't trying to lose weight like I wasn't try like this is just the effects of changing my diet and my lifestyle to cutting out processed foods and stuff like that and so my body fat percentage was 32.1 and now it's 26.2 which is such a huge difference and i'm so proud of myself look at you go Madra! oh my god and now that just motivates me to keep going like we're gonna we're gonna get to 20 we're gonna get to 20 okay and that i don't know that just really motivated me weighing myself the other day really motivated me i'm geeked i am geeked girl mm. we are making progress and i hope you guys are making progress too like i love hearing back from you guys i just love you guys so much but i'm gonna talk to you guys when i get home Friday. Oh, buddy, Friday. I can't believe it's Friday already. I can't believe I vlog every single day. But happy Friday. I look like I was hit. As you guys can see, my reaction is almost, I think it's like, it's completely gone. You guys, someone's playing with me because it doesn't even stick around for a while. I'm grateful. She is all ready for the gym. I think it's almost seven now. It just takes me a long time to get ready. I don't know. I'm gonna get some food in my system before I go. Get like something, like maybe a banana. Bed is made. My siblings have picture day today. So they're getting all dressed up or whatever. <laughs> I cannot lie I am not pumped for the gym today let me eat this banana so that I can have my energy drink Here's the lineup for today. We've got 30s for legs. We've got 12.5 for shoulders and upper body. And then we have a 15 pound kettlebell for upper body as well. Okay, little upper body stretch. 
I really don't have that much time and I'm monkeying around right now. finish up my workout on the Stairmaster I'm gonna try to I'm gonna do 20 minutes on the Stairmaster um, instead of walking today this workout killed me I'm unalived my back is like wet like I'm talking wet anyway today's outfit is all from Target literally these sweats are from Target and this hoodie is also from Target literally look how I'm sitting I'm gonna get my butt up we're gonna finish up with some cardio. I'm gonna do as much as I can. 20 minutes is the goal though, so um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. It's just, it's, I don't, don't let the price fool you. It's like $99 for a king, $79 for a queen. But it's just, it's as simple. I can show you a picture of it. No. We got these blankets. They're literally the best ever. Right, Hoya? Agree? The best ever. And then we got some duvets. We got this one. Yeah. And some covers. Okay, so got this one. See, here's that little, that little thing, thing right that here. you just showed me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so a little update. We are using the restroom now. We're gonna go into all of the shots. I got my duvet, I got my duvet cover, I got my pillowcases. Basically, my bed is finished, and so I'm really excited about that. We had to order a majority of the stuff, and it won't be here for about five, three to five days. Um, business days so it'll come next week so that'll be next week's vlog 
um, making my bed and stuff. But we're gonna go do some more shopping. I'm about to drink this. I was just waiting to pray Dohor before I took anything down because I really didn't wanna have to use the bathroom and break my wudu because there's nothing I hate more than going out and then having to make wudu while I'm out. I don't like that. There's a Louis Vuitton here and my mom and I are gonna go in there, but we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. We're not gonna purchase anything today. We're just gonna look and see what they have. Um, yeah, so that is my little update. There's also a sweet greens here, so I'm definitely gonna eat that, which I'm excited about. <laughs> I made, literally set the intention this morning. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have sweet greens today. <laughs> Thank you for asking. This is so cute. I didn't know a smaller version of the Stanley existed. This is the one I have. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. It's funny because we're doing Ramadan shopping right now in, and it's like six months away. But, yeah, really bad. Yeah, I like. You guys remember when I was in anthropology? Hold on. And I literally showed you guys this, something similar to this, and it was on sale. 30 bucks and it was on sale for nine insane crazy oh there it is that one's probably more it fits matches the vibe oh she's so cute cute i hate this like long strap but it's giving I really like it. Or do we like her? This one's so cute. What do you guys think? You guys, look at this. This is actually insane. You know what's funny? We go into Louis, or we're like, okay, we're not gonna go into Louis and buy anything. We go into Louis and we buy something. And then on top of that, we get Dior. Like, anyway, I look so rough right now. I genuinely don't like making wudu in public because now I'm ashy. Ashy. And my mom is eating. She got the same thing as Rahima, which is the cheese stick, the, the little piada stick. And she's grubbing. I'm not gonna expose her, but she's going in. Is it good, Hoya? She goes. Already see you January. Uh-huh. Inshallah. Look at the 
back of my car. I'm screaming. We are just over here assembling her new chair. Yeah. It's cute. Let me turn the light on. Yeah, she do like to sit crisscross applesauce. Okay, there's clearly a lot going on here. Let me turn this fireplace on. Hi guys, so I'm gonna be doing a little haul of everything we got yesterday. We have a live audience here with us today because yesterday was just me, my mom, and Rian and Rahima didn't come, but they're here to see everything that we bought. You guys kind of already saw the plates, but it's all wrapped, I'm so excited. These are for eat, I mean Ramadan, which is kind of crazy. Look at this though, Rahima, look. That is so cute. I'm excited. You guys see that? Nice. Cute. Next, we got these plates. So they basically go on top of these ones. Look. Okay. Ooh, look at him. Is it green? It goes on top of the other one. Yeah, it's like bluish greenish. I think That's we needed nice. these plates. There you go. This is for our Ramadan plates for the table. And then there's another plate that goes under it. Is that the three set? Yeah. Look at him. Wow. So all three go on top of each other. I love how it's like so many colors Actually, that just yeah. like pulled in together. That's what I said. I was like, people like people's actual jobs is like to design this. Like I love that. Ah! Okay, this bag is really exciting because you guys are gonna love this. Hold on. Oh my god, I got a cutting board. Yes, I got new cutting boards because we needed one so bad. We got plastic ones as well. First of all, we got these. What are these called? We already have one over there. This is like this like fragrance thing. It has like all these. Weird. plants and stuff inside of it and then it smells it smells really good we have one out right now and we got a new one huh you want to smell i like this this gives the seasons okay so we got cutting boards this is a three pack yeah nothing so that exciting yeah. this yeah, nothing exciting i'm so excited for that this is really cool you're gonna want to see this are you guys ready for this Love it. Look at this tea kettle, guys. And then this top part is like a wooden handle. Oh my god. Isn't it perfect? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put these all back in here because tomorrow we're gonna work on reorganizing, cleaning, and decorating the kitchen. Even her costumes are Okay. Let's this Next. Jahimo, you're gonna be excited about this. Pumpkin spice. This is hot chocolate pumpkin spice, hot chocolate classic, hot chocolate salted caramel. That looks so pretty. I love the cans. I know, I right? Know. We got like the silicone set. And then here's the runner for the table. And so we just got this like plain color for the runner because the plates and everything are so colorful. Here are the napkins. The dinner napkins. Ooh. Look at him. These are the napkins. Those are literally so perfect. And then another thing, we're gonna have to start baking ASAP. Oh, we got these cup measures, gold, since you lost the first ones I bought. Wow. It's the house, you guys. The house literally will swallow anything that we buy. Look at this, guys. Who the hell's Tammy? Tammy, the two sisters. No way! Yeah. I claim my little models are paid. Oh, oh my god. So Look cute. at this. Isn't this so nice? Oh my god. It'll make the coolest little muffins ever. And I'm like, not muffins, but like little cakes. Muffins. And I'm like, okay, I we're gonna have like to bake something. Up, upside down cake that look like that. Oh that would be god. so good. And I love a good pineapple upside down cake. Rian loves her pineapple upside down cake. Like really so good. Also, I bought this for just like the tea and sing. Why did I think it was... Um, Disco ball? No, the little ball to put on the Christmas tree. <laughs> Le. And then I got a little knife, like a fruit knife ad. William Sonoma needs to sponsor me. Yes. Ooh, so girl, I almost stabbed myself. Okay, from Pottery Barn. We got Rian her blankie. I showed you guys this yesterday. These are the best blankets ever. And you can get it at Pottery Barn. Ooh. Oh, shit. This is Rian's blankie. It's quite so pricey, but it's such a nice blanket. The quality is amazing. It lasts forever and it's really heavy. So if you like like heavy blankets, it's not like a weighted blanket, but it's like a heavier blanket. It's chef's kiss. From area, I just got some loungewear. I got these flare pants. 
that I'm literally gonna put on right now. And then I got this mock neck little top. And then I also got it in white. Anthropology. I got this vase for the basement. How pretty is that? Target. I got this like wooden little cutting, not cutting board, like serving board. And then I got this orange blanket, little floral blanket. I got some towels for my bathroom and then Ryan got socks. And that's all. I'm gonna do an unboxing for the Dior and the Louis bag for like TikTok and stuff. I'll show you guys that tomorrow because honestly I'm extremely exhausted. And yeah, so we'll do an unboxing of that together tomorrow right now i'm just gonna get ready for just lounging relaxing i'm so tired and also i haven't seen you guys all day today um but i woke up this morning i cleaned because i felt so icky like i don't know what it is you guys i hate i hate i hate ickiness i don't like that when things start to touch my feet and like i have wooden floors when things start to touch my feet and i feel things on my feet i want to die and so I cleaned like a maniac this morning and then I went to the gym and then I took my siblings to Duxie and stuff and then we just, yeah, that's it. That's literally all I did today, but I'm extremely exhausted. So I'm going to go do my skincare, get in my new loungewear and chill. Just vibe for the rest of the night. I'm tired. Okay guys, so the vibes right now are definitely vibing. I just did my skincare I made with Duo. Um, it's raining outside if you can't hear. So I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna make dua, so much dua because of course when it's raining you wanna make extra dua. And yeah, I'm just gonna chill for the night. We're gonna watch Pretty Little Liars. I don't know why I was fiending to watch Pretty Little Liars tonight, but that's really how I'm gonna spend my evening tomorrow I don't want to worry about tomorrow. I'm just going to worry about right now. What's going on? How to make the vibes good. How to make myself feel better. Because I was in... I had a little attitude today. Had a little attitude on me. I think I always have a little attitude on me. I think I always have a little attitude on me at this point. But yeah, I'm just trying to make myself feel better. By taking care of myself. By journaling. By praying. The vibes are good. Good morning guys and happy Sunday. I'm just, I'm having a amazing day with just a few surprises. Um, while I was making my matcha, my milk got really hot and exploded. And then right now, as I was moving my tripod over from this side to this side, I ruined my favorite coaster by tipping over my matcha. But you know what? It's a new day. We're gonna try to be as positive as we can. I just wanted to spend my morning reading a little bit of the Quran. 
and doing a little Quran study sesh. So I think that's how I'm gonna start my morning. And then today we actually have a lot to do. I cleaned my entire space last night. I, I mean, yesterday I did the floors, I did the mirrors, I cleaned the bathroom. And so I don't have to worry about that today. And I cleaned my bedroom. Um, today I'm gonna be working on the kitchen, reorganizing, cleaning. My mom already started on that. Like she really can't help herself. That was supposed to be my thing. I was supposed to do it. And she, she already started. She already started, um, but I'm gonna go and help with that. We're gonna go to Goodwill, we're gonna drop off some stuff. We wanna make our unboxing video, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully it all is gonna go well. Say they love the keto diet. Gain a bit of the third parts of your life with tenants into our mind. Make in your head, Bob. Marrying that we do anything meaningful. We try to survive our soul. If you want to fulfill. This is what I've been doing for the past hour. My favorite girl. But honestly, I needed this. And I'm so happy right now. She just makes me feel so like ugh, at peace. I never use my MacBook. Like I'm just now realizing this only because it barely works. Let's start there. <laughs> Let's start there. But then I never actually use it. I'm just realizing that. Also, this looks so cozy and so cute. The sun is starting to set. And it just feels so cozy in here today. I actually wasn't just sitting here watching YouTube. I actually planned my week and my day tomorrow on Notion. We actually have a lot to do tomorrow. It's going to be a very busy day. And so I need this moment. I need this moment to rest. I need this moment to chill. I need this moment to breathe. And I love it. I love it. I truly do. I feel like I'm 16 again. The vibes are amazing. Oh, also, I added these two pillows to my couch just to give in a little bit of color. Like, I feel like it's giving fall vibes, right? And then we have this throw blanket, which is definitely giving fall vibes. Yeah, it's not made of butter. I was like, oh, why not? Oh, that one. Yeah, let's go bad in about two weeks. 